Hey, what's up YouTube? So, uh, I was looking around, I didn't see a whole lot of videos like this, so I thought I'd make one of my own. It's going to be just, uh, basically I'm going to just go like a minute over each game, um, maybe some apps too, and just kind of an overview of just crap for the iPad. Um, Non-game related, I'm going to say probably my favorite things, which actually, I'm not even going to bother with a couple of them, but... Um, Gamefly, Game Center, uh, it's also for the iPad or iPhone, you know, iPod Touch and stuff. Friendly for Facebook is actually a really neat, probably the best Facebook app that I've seen so far. It's pretty good. Um, you know, you got Fandango, they finally came out with an iPad version of that. Flipboard is the most useful, you know, most kind of different and neat thing I've seen here so far. Um... It basically takes, and you can put any page, whatever, on here. It'll take and, you know, maybe put, like, your Twitter, um, you know, whatever, and kind of organizes it like a magazine. And it, it's just, it's a really neat way of laying it out, actually. It'll do it with, you know, Facebook. Um, uh, like, I have Giant Bomb on here, so it's like anything they put on their website. It's here, and then you can open it up, like, a link to it, you know, if you want. Um, and blah, 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 blah. It's kind of cool. Um, ABC Player. Netflix is probably the most thing I use the most, actually, but on to games. What you care about. First off, the the biggest one being Infinity Blade. I have, I'm not even kidding, I've played this for like 15 hours at least. Um, I'm only going to do this for like a minute per game, just so everyone knows. Um, Chair Interactive, you know, the people who did, I'm not sure how loud that is, the people who did uh, Shadow Complex on the Xbox Live Arcade. And it's basically, uh, you'll take, sorry, this is taking a little bit to upload, or to get to this. Come on. There it is. And, um, it's kind of like a cross between maybe, like, Brute Ninja and, like, an RPG. The game is gorgeous, as you can tell, when you fast forward to an actual fight, um, and the way you fight is, um, it's kind of based on, like, counters and stuff, I'm not actually going to finish this fight, but, you know, like that, I just screwed up, magic, whoosh, but, um, really good game, a lot of fun, it's cheap, uh, Pinball HD, is freaking awesome. I want to say that right now. Um, you, you actually uh, play this by just tapping on either side of the screen to to use the flippers, so it's not so much of like, oh, you have to be extremely accurate with your hits or anything. And so it makes it a lot of fun. It's, you're not so worried about aiming and everything like that as for a certain button. You're just hitting on one side of the screen or the other. There's three different tables. A uh, Wild West themed one, a jungle themed one, and a water themed one. You know, leaderboards and all that fun stuff. Very good game. Um, Scrabble. As you can tell, I took advantage of that EA Games $1 game sale they had around Christmas time. <laughs> and Scrabble, I actually did the thing where you can link up and do the whole play thing with the, using your using uh, iPods as or iPhones as your your word doc and it's a real pain in the butt to set it up and then it bailed them out part of the way through and we lost the entire game so I can't really recommend Scrabble it's not real great Yahtzee um, it does what it's supposed to do it's Yahtzee and it tries to put in all this weird other stuff but that stuff's kinda dumb and it's just a fun little kinda multiplayer thing every now and then I'll just show you really quick what it actually looks like just what the actual in-game stuff looks like. If it will load. No, I don't want all this bull crap. Yeah, there you go. That's what it looks like. You roll your dice over here. The plays are over here. I personally actually think they could have probably laid out the uh, the play card over here a little better, but whatever. Mirror's Edge. You've probably seen this one in 150 bazillion videos at this point. Because it's kind of one of the original, like, here's what the iPad can do sort of games. Let's get 
to the end so we can attempt to continue. It's pretty neat that this actually works on an iPad, but yeah, you kind of just hold a direction like that to uh, make her run that way. I don't remember where I'm supposed to be going right now. Oh, there's a dude. Swipe down and slide cake to temporary. Blah, 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 blah. Dang, I don't remember how to play this. It's been a while. But you kind of get the idea. Spider Man HD. I'm extremely impressed with how good that game actually works. Uh, I have this setting on a slight slant, it keeps flipping. Flipping, you know, I'm gonna do this. Drag this down underneath here. Boom, no more flipping. I'll just show you real fast kind of how this works. Uh, you got your virtual joystick, which I usually really hate. Um, you know, your punch, your, you know, kind of air kick, and then like a combo button, and then like your web. And I can remember where I'm at. It's very hard to bounce around in games like this. Yeah, there we go. Um, really surprised at how well the fighting actually works because they make it just simple enough that you can kind of just do your thing and like kind of let things flow and feel like you're really pulling off a bunch of bad A stuff when really you're just, you know, flicking buttons. So that works really good. And I also I think it's, as the time I'm posting this video, it's on sale for a dollar. Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit. Also, really impressed with how this actually works on the iPad. It is basically a less graphics version of, you know, Need for Speed um, Hot Pursuit for the actual systems. I've played it for the 360, and it, like I said, it's it's that game, just with less graphics. The map actually looks just about like the same thing, but. And if I don't edit this down and edit out these loading screens, I'm sorry. It's because some days my freaking editing software just does not want to work without like messing up the audio. This is one of those tilt steering games. The best game, I think, as far as tilt steering goes, is actually uh, 2XL Rally or whatever the heck it's called. Um, because of the fact that it's a off-road game and so the drifting actually kind of makes it feel not floaty because it should feel floaty since you're drifting anyway, you know. Um, Need for Speed Shift, uh, I don't know if, I guess I'll go ahead and bring that up real fast. It's Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, but the Need for Speed Shift version, so you're using more sponsored cars and there's not cops. Um, I personally, for some reason, think that Hot Pursuit actually controls a little better on the iPad. This one feels very, very stiff with the controls, um, Shift does. But... You know, that's you know, that shift. If you were going to buy one or the other, I'd get Hot Pursuit. Reckless Racing HD. This is probably my favorite racing. I don't know why it flipped just now. Probably my favorite racing game on the iPad, actually. Um, it's just very simple. You pick your car, pick your track, and there's already a free download that actually has a bunch of others. You have Go, you have Steer, and there's like a lot of ways that it lets you customize the steering. You can customize where the boxes are to touch at, um, how big they are, um, if you want it to be tilt, if you're, actually I don't think this is actually does tilt. If you want it to do a full steering wheel, a half steering wheel, arrows to slide, if you want it to automatically, you know, hit the gas, I'm pretty sure it actually even has that. I just use arrows on all four, and it, it works really good. It's also pretty cheap. And if you, if you have played other racing games and haven't tried it, you totally should, because it's a lot of fun. Snood is Snood. I got it because it was a dollar and I actually have a DS version. And I was like, wow, Snood for a dollar and it's way better than the one on the DS. I guess so, that'll work. You know, it's it's Snood. You, uh, blah, blah, blah. Oops. I was actually paying attention while I was shooting there. Yeah. Dang it. I'm going to fix.
fail on a YouTube video. Yep, I'm totally gonna fail. Anyway, that's snood. <laughs> um, where was I at? Tap Tap Radiation, it's free, and it is my least favorite Tap Tap game. Because the stuff, like, flies at the screen, instead of coming kind of in a note highway sort of way. Um, I'll just show you real quick what I'm talking about. Like, the ones on the iPod and stuff, whatever, that'll work. Uh, how they would kind of come towards you, like that Guitar Hero kind of note highway thing. This one, they kind of almost come from random directions, just kind of flying randomly into the screen. And it's like this, and it's very, very hard to see where they're actually, like, how soon they're actually going to get there. Okay, uh, no, I looked retarded because it totally went the note highway route. But sometimes they'll be coming in from over here, down here, over here, and it just, it's really messed up. When it's at that angle, it was just, that it's okay. Bit Trip Beat, really, really fun game. If you, you know, like bit trip stuff, it's basically Pong on crack. Um, if you don't know what this is, headphones are recommended for the best audio experience. Each one of these is just a. Uh, I guess I should have started on a later one so it made sense, but it's going to be really slow this way. You basically get a finger over here. And you bounce the stuff back, and then it goes from there to getting just insanely crazy. Um, let's see, I'll show you. This isn't like super crazy, but you know, you kind of get the idea. There you go. It's a really neat game. The Price is Right, that is a bad game. I liked the show and thought, hey, I'll, why does it keep flipping? It's on an angle. I was like, well, I'll try it because I like the show, or did, you know, before What's-His-Face started hosting it. Um, this game is really bad. I don't like it at all. You, uh, There's just way too much between screens. I'm not going to even try to show it because it'll take forever to give you an idea, but it... There, there's just way too much time between stuff, between doing things. It, it feels like you're playing a game and watching commercials way more than it does when you're actually playing, watching the show. This is a 2XL Rally, I think is what it's called, 2XL Trophy Truck or something like that. Default. 2XL Trophy Light Rally, that's what it is. Um, and it's another kind of tilt-to-steer thing. Constantly have to watch the stupid win prizes, blah 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 thing on loading screens, but it's okay because loading screens real short. Gas to go. See, this is a really pretty game for the iPad, by the way. And this is the only tilt to steer driving game that I actually like. The the tilt driving it seems to just fit that kind of rally thing really well. I'm driving like crap because I'm kind of setting at a big angle and trying to talk at the same time, but you get the idea. Medieval HD is an extremely addicting, kind of tower defense-y sort of game, except for you are the only tower, and you kind of select between different weapons, sort of. And there's a big, long upgrade, like, ridiculously long upgrade tree. You can play it as, like, a pullback on your castle thing to shoot, you know. But I just go with the tap to shoot because it's way less frustrating. And then you've got your weapons down here. You can bring in stuff over here, um, like raise and lower stockades, and... I guess you see the upgrade tree right here. Oops, sorry about the camera. Um, here's the upgrade tree, and there's like four levels to everything. Really fun, addicting game. It's like a dollar. Um, Let's Golf 2 is basically... What is that game? Hot Shots Golf. It's basically that. Only, I think it's a little bit better, actually. It's also a game that works really well with uh, touch controls. They, they suit it very well. And it is... 
the career. You unlock a lot of parts for your character or whatever. You can customize them and, you know, junk like that. Like different clothes and things. Um, and then there's a lot of, not, I won't say a lot of courses, but a lot of events or whatever in the game. And it kind of does that old school thing of touch, then the meter goes, and then you get that on power and then that's entered. But it works really good. Uh, West Noth, Battle for West Noth, I actually haven't got real into this game because it, when I, every time I try to play it, it just confuses the crap out of me. But it is obviously a World of Warcraft inspired, um, R RTS game. I don't know why I bought it, because I don't even like RTSs. But I'll just kind of give you an in-game screen really quick so you kind of know what it looks like. I believe I bought it because it was on sale, and I'm a sucker for sales. It's a good thing I don't have a Steam account currently installed on my computer. Um, but, you know, here's what it looks like. If this dude will shut up. But there's your main screen, and uh, it's just an RTS. Flick Golf is... There you go, get that turned the right way. Um, it's kind of a weird take on golf. It's... Um, you take, and you can control the shot after you've made the shot by, like, flicking on the screen and rolling towards the way you want it to go up until a certain point. And this is actually a quick shot mode, which is where you have a certain amount of time to get it in a certain ring. It's like target mode, sort of. And the length of your flick judges how long, how far it's going to go. I just shot over, I think. No. Ah! There's 400. If you make it in the inside ring, it's bonus 3 seconds. You make a hole in the hole 10 seconds, and you go until time runs out. And that's just the quick shot mode, and then there's actually a world tour like kind of mode, you know. Multi-pong. Multi-pong, multi-pong, multi-pong. Does it tilt? I don't remember. No, okay. This game looks really good, I'll say that. Um, is basically... Pong on crack, as is bit trip, you know, whatever. This is just Pong on different crack. And it goes way crazier from here. There'll be, like, ping pong crap going on, different things to mess up your other person playing, you're playing against. You can play up to four people on the same iPad on this, on different sides, obviously. And in just the campaign mode, there'll be different people, or different computer players pop up on it. There'll be, like, crazy amounts of just kind of pinball-looking stuff affecting the shots in the middle of the screen and things like that. It's a pretty neat little time killer. Geometry Wars Touch. Also, this game is on sale right now for, I think, a dollar. Normally it is $4.99, I believe. And to tell you the truth, even at a dollar, I can't recommend it. Because the virtual joysticks on this game really, really suck. Disable leaderboard, single player, oops, I'll just show you this real fast. Yes, it looks good, but I don't like it. It does the whole thing of like wherever you touch is where the joysticks are at, um, but it just, I don't know if it's the travel distance on them or what, but it does not, yeah, see like I'm running into the wall and not even meaning to. Um, and I'm not saying I suck at Geometry Wars. I'm good at Geometry Wars on the Xbox. I just... I don't like it on here. It doesn't work very well. It doesn't feel right at all. Just a couple more. Um, I'm not even going to bother with Picture Rica. It's a really, really sucky um, picture find type game. Paper Toss HD. Durr. It's Paper Toss. Just saying. But in HD. And it's still awesome. What the heck? Why am I watching a commercial? There we go. Um, and if you don't know what Paper Toss is, number one, what were you doing in the high school library? Seriously. Back in high school. Oh, uh, yeah. Paper Toss is fun. It's terribly addicting. Um, Plasma Globe. A really simple game that I actually had a lot of fun with. And it's free, also. It's basically one of those electric globe thingies, but, um, okay, you hit start to start the game, I'll just say hard, whatever. And 
you zap stuff as it comes in with this, and then you have your like health of the core. It's a, kind of just a fun little time killer, you know, as is a lot of stuff for the iPad, but it is just a fun little time killer. And lastly, Clues, Secrets, and Spies, another very dumb image search game. So uh, that is it for now. We'll call it quits. And uh, also, this is just the way that I decided to start um, this thing I'm going to be doing of reviewing my entire game collection. And I just thought this would be a good way to do it because I've wanted to do something like this for my iPad games that I've got so far since I very recently got it. Anyway, um, once I post those, I'll put a link at the end of this video and look forward to those videos, which I'm going to post in about 30 minute chunks each. Thank you for watching this one. And if you have any suggestions for games for the iPad, uh, put them down below. I'd like to hear some suggestions. I like trying new iPad games. They're cheap and they're fun. Later. Oh, and thumbs up, please. Thumbs me.